start a new drawing, click this drop down arrow, select new, and select ACAD 3D for Imperial Units, and click open. Work on parallel projection, so click this uh, arrow here, and select parallel. I'm just gonna open both windows, so tile vertically, I'm gonna move this one to the other side. I'm gonna start drawing from top view, which is this one here. So bring your screen to top view. Draw a circle. So type C for circle command, or you can go to home and select circle. Type D for diameter option, enter and enter 80. Just gonna zoom this one, zoom extents, or maybe move this one somewhere here. Another circle, so type C for circle command, enter, look at center, type D for diameter option, and enter 50. Uh, before we proceed, go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on. Polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap, and maybe selection cycling. All right, and the distance between these two circles, this one and this one, is 300. So what I'm going to do is just copy this one. So select the objects, right click, copy selection, locate center, and move this one to the right for 300 units. Enter. Now the big circle is in between these two circles. So I'm going to create a circle again. So type C for circle command, right click to enter and specify center point for circle so press shift key right click and select mid between two points or middle between two points and then this is the first point and this is the second point and type D for diameter option enter and enter 150 and the next one here is 120. So right click to repeat circle, look at center, type D for diameter option, and enter 120. Now I'm gonna draw this curve. So go to circle, click this uh, inside the draw panel, click this drop down arrow, and select tangent tangent radius option so click this um, click this here anywhere see that the uh, tangent uh, icon appearing and this one and enter the radius for that is 100 so enter 100 now trim the circle so type tr for trim command, enter, and enter again. Click here. Now I'm just gonna mirror this one. So type MI for mirror command, enter, select this object that you want to mirror. Specify first point of mirror line. So I can use this one here from quadrant to quadrant and select no. Now I'm gonna mirror these two to this side so the mirror line should be here. So type MI for mirror. Click this one and click this one and specify first point of mirror line so quadrant and as long as it's straight you can hit the quadrant here but just follow that green dash line 
click anywhere and it would work and click no now bring your drawing to southwest isometric or southeast you can use this one here southeast or you can press shift and the wheel of your mouse so you can position it to whatever angle you want I'm just gonna turn off the grid and then extrude the circles these two here this one and this one which is this one and these circles and extrude it for 40 so select the circles select this one and go to the ribbon inside modeling panel select extrude command and move it you know extrude upward move your cursor upward for 40 I'm gonna change this to x-ray and then the biggest circle the extrusion is 70 so select these two circles extrude from the modeling panel and enter 70 now for this one here and this one which is also these two the extrusion for that is the total extrusion from here to here is 40 minus 20 so the extrusion for this is 20 I'm gonna use press pull command so go to modeling uh, panel and select press pull command and just hover over this area once it turns blue don't click yet just hover over once it turns blue left click and move it upward for 20 units same here hover over click and enter 20 now I'm gonna combine this object all the objects except for the inner circles because that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna put a hole here holes actually so combine so go to solid editing panel select union command click this object here this object this object this one here and this one now this is one object except for the circles now go back to solid editing panel and select subtract command click the object you want to keep right click and select the objects that you don't want circle this circle I'm just gonna move this away and this circle right click and I'm gonna check shaded edges can change this to realistic and I think we are done thanks for watching and please Click that subscribe button and bell icon for notification and I'll see you again for the next tutorial.